Food, work and freedom. These were the main slogans. We, these were the main demands of the uh, women protesting in the streets of Kabul yesterday. Despite a widespread fear and terror imposing by the Taliban in Afghanistan. All right. All right. These brave women have no option but to get to the streets of Kabul and demonstrate to the world that how is it like to live under the reign of an extremist and reactionary regime like Taliban. Since August 15th, when the US-led coalition forces left Afghanistan alone and Taliban took over control over Afghanistan, millions of people, especially women, lost those most precious values. They have lost their income, they have lost their jobs, and more importantly, they have lost their freedom. There is a saying that without freedom, people will perish. Taliban came along with poverty. They came along with unemployment, mass migration, collective depression based on insecurity and poverty. According to statistics, around 700,000 Afghan women were the main breadwinners for their families. It means that more than a million people, including children, disabled and elderly people, were depending on these women's income. By the Taliban's takeover, these women have lost their jobs, have lost their income, and those millions of people's lives are in danger out of starving to death. Even though Taliban are steadily making false promises to form an inclusive government and that they respect the rights of women for work and occupation, but in practice they have done nothing. Still not even a single woman in their cabinet. Still other ethnic groups are deprived from their essential rights to political participation. Still the civil society is not allowed to resume their activism. Pakistan and the Taliban leaders along with their lobbyists like Zalmai Khalilzad, uh, like Hamid Karzai and many others work intensely to encouraged to persuade the world to interact with the Taliban by saying that the Taliban have changed. We as the people of Afghanistan would really wish that it was true, but it isn't. Taliban haven't changed. They still believe in that very rigid version of Islam where democracy is satanic and women are considered as men's property and the Amir has a divine might, a divine power that nobody has the right to protest against. Those who protest should be beheaded. Those who steal bread for, to feed their starving children, their hands should be cut off instead of providing job and occupation for those people. For slightly a week ago, the Taliban's Prime Minister clearly announced that the Taliban has no responsibility to provide food or shelter to anyone. The only one who is responsible for food and shelter is the God. And people should pray to God for food and to get shelter. Now it is up to the world whether they recognize such a regime. And you know that recognizing such a regime and going in interaction with, it, with such a regime, it means that you support their ideology.